Auz billahi minash shaitan rajim bismillahirrahmanirrahim assalamu alaikum dear students uh, this is shamshad ali uh, department of technology sadr university uh, today we are going to learn about the pollution and the management of the waste pollution or the waste management this is our week 8 or lecture 8 uh, seventh semester, fourth year of the BSc Engineering Technology Seven. You can access this lecture at portal.su.edu.pk. So let's begin now today's lecture. A brief history. Sustainable development demands the ongoing management of the outputs, waste and pollution, as well as inputs, food water, living space, and other resources. Historically, humans have spent much more efforts attending to inputs than to outputs. But however, growing population and the invention of the potent, of the potent compounds have made it vital to attend to outputs as well. It is doubtful that many uh, before the 1960s would have taken it seriously that pollution could threaten the global environment and some even welcome pollution is a sign of progress, a side effect of inner earning money. Often outputs can be recovered to become useful inputs to help sustain development. Furthermore, pollution and waste management a waste may give rise to pollution. It is necessary to view both together. We have to uh, view these two terminologies together. Waste and pollution. Pollution and waste management can focus on. They can focus on prevention and avoidance. Or following escape or release. Collection and disposal. Reclamation. Treatment, mitigation, which may sometimes be difficult and costly or impossible as well. Prevention involves catching waste or pollution before release. I mean, before release, you have to catch the waste or to catch the pollution before release. While avoiding seeks development without waste or pollution generation, this is basically a reference. Young uh, 1990 and uh, Bradshaw et al. in 1992. They suggest that before releasing the waste, you have to catch these uh, pollution. Prevention, basically, you have to prevent before release. The following is that favored in the USA, Middleton 1995, that reuse of the pollution waste reduction first you have to uh, reduce your waste and if the waste is produced you have to reuse those pollution recycling if you have some kind of uh, facility to recycle your waste and uh, resource recovery incineration uh, landfill as well Wherever uh, possible, waste and pollution disposal should be integrated with employment, generation, food and commodity production in appropriate industrial development. Pollution and waste are increasingly transboundary problems. It is a global uh, problem. Before the 1970s, such transboundary threats were largely unrecognized. Now the environmental manager must see pollution control that can be applied to more than one country or the global environment. Over the past few decades, pollution and waste management have, has been added by growing adoption of the polluter phase principles 
a trend towards more proactive planning and management. For example, the use of the environmental impact assessment. In the next classes, we will learn about the environmental impact assessment. That is the process before the uh, construction phase or before the proposal uh, at uh, the, the project environmental impact uh, were assessed. Increase release of information on pollution and waste risks in uh, nations as a result of the government NGO media and international agency activity. Improved uh, legislation to define, monitor, and control pollution and waste. Spread of better environmental quality standards more widely applied, which has monitoring and exchange of information and provides. Yard sick of legislator and enforcement. Better medicine equipment for monitoring and assessment. Some ship to uh, treating pollution before discharge. As we have learned, that you have to treat the pollution before it has been discharged to your seas, your rivers, and your canals, etc. In reference to the uh, water pollution. Here we have uh, landfill reuse disposal in the Belgium. This is the site for the waste disposal or the refuse disposal site. This is a state of art facility with, with the geosynthetic clay and high density polyethylene lining to prevent leaching. Each pit can hold about uh, 250,000 tons of waste. Here we have the front two, three, and four. At the bottom or at the, at the bed, the polyethylene, high density polyethylene, HDP polyethylene, and the geosynthetic clay has been lining to prevent the leaching to the, to the ground, and that's why they want to prevent the underground water from polluting uh, of such kind of uh, disposal of waste. Each pit can hold about 250,000 tons of waste. A lot of quantity. The gas emitted during decomposition is captured for electricity generation as well. So this is basically the recycling and the reuse of the waste as well. Radioactive waste and pollution. Most toxic. Natural radon emissions damage human health. Production of uranium, uh, plutonium and other unnatural radioactive material affects miners, uh, enrichment plant workers and the global environment especially through atomic weapons testing, military and civil nuclear power plant accidents and contamination from industrial and medical life sources. Between 1945 and 2005, there were about 2000 nuclear test explosions. 130 above the ground in the atmosphere, the rest mainly other, uh, are underground. Radioactive waste can be highly hazardous and very really long lived, with well, half lives of thousands of years. Stored high level waste generate in heat and gas pressure and radiation damages containers. There must be adequate radiation shielding and protection. Again, hazards such as the earthquakes and some uh, repositories need cooling equipment. Radioactive materials are also attractive uh, to terrorists as well. Mainly in our countries uh, nowadays and in a decade before, as we have learned about the radioactive waste that you have to uh, you have to uh, to keep these uh, kind of pollution. Uh, are waste in uh, mines uh, in the in this in the, the cave of the salt or salted cave as well. This management is expensive. Management of the reactive waste is uh, expensive, difficult, and very long-term demand. Nuclear waste may be stored in shallow or deep repositories. As we have learned, discharge into rivers of the sea pump down deep boreholes 
dumped in containers in deep oceans are reprocessed. The bulk out in 1991 suggested that you have to keep these kind of waste in a deep bore holes, deep repository, these are into river or the sea, and dumped in containers in deep ocean. Most of these options are imperfect and some are now left to be uh, in advisable or illegal. How can you keep the uh, radioactive waste in, uh, in a container in the deep ocean? There is a threat for the marine life as well. Low level waste is generally disposed uh, by shallow landfill, worldwide nuclear installation. Uh, hold huge quantities of often high level waste and temporary storage awaiting long term disposal. There is a still a lot to be learned about safe levels of exposure to gamma, beta, and alpha radiation. Electromagnetic radiation, also a kind of uh, radioactive pollution, the electromagnetic force emission are produced by microwave ovens. Radar transmitters, power cables, transformers, radio and TV broadcasting, telecommunication equipment including mobile phone as well, computer and high voltage transmission lines. Stay garment, uh, electromagnetic forces uh, uh, can cause difficulties with the uh, legitimate radio and TV broadcasting hospital equipment research activities, control systems and cars, aircraft, weapons and so on and measures are taken to shield against it and to legislate to control sources. However, until proven completely safe, EMF uh, should be treated seriously, meaning it requires serious kind of treatment that may prove necessary to shield equipment much more carefully and to zone land use to keep transmission lines and housing apart. You have to uh, separate uh, the, the lines, transmission lines of high voltage transmission line away from the housing apart. When you see that if uh, there is a house uh, below the transmission line so um, there is some kind of defects in the children in the newborn children so this is basically uh, the effect of the high voltage transmission lines the, the radiation from these kind of lines uh, can affect the in the, the human life in the form of the newborn uh, in the form of the some kind of damages some kind of uh, uh, diseases in the newborn babies as well. Treating pollutants in wastes. Pollution in waste are hazardous. If they treat in human health or environment by virtue of their toxicity, ability to cause cancer, reproductive or genetic disorders, and because they transmit disease or pest organisms. Hazardous pollution in waste may be group as chemical hazard, biohazard, radiation hazard. In addition, emergency services in health and safety planners usually recognize explosive and fire hazard as well. Chemical hazard includes uh, the uh, organochlorine compound or PCB and uh, which one release pose a long term threat even at low concentrations. Hazardous material must be effectively labeled, carefully handled, stored and used. They must either be uh, securely isolated from the environment, sealed contain, uh, containment, or treated chemically or biologically, or incinerated to render them safely. Treating pollutants and waste. <coughs> Pumping materials into rivers, the sea or the ground is widespread but unsafe. <coughs> Containment is storing material in the hoping time will reduce the danger or it is someone else problem. Agriculture problems. 
Intensification in specialization of agriculture may lead to pollution and waste from agrochemicals, livestock manure, and livestock feedstuffs, crop residue, and crop proceed processing. So, the those responsible for pollution and waste may not perceive it or bear the cost, and this can uh, handle remedial measures. This include animal uh, etc. Uh, so this effluent, uh, cereal, straw, and other crop residues. Agriculture waste problems can be countered by the following. Waste treatment and incineration. Quotas limit on quantities a uh, farm may produce. Com uh, composting discussed earlier are used as a raw material example, the straw board and the cardboard. Set aside, withdraw of land from production, a risk is that remaining agricultural land will be more intensively used. Recycling and reuse of waste. Waste recovery and waste recycling are terms that can lead to misunderstandings. A country might record 80% of its waste paper uh, but recycle little, instead using it for district uh, heating. Another may record 10% but recycle and reuse most of it. There is usually a need to sort, transport and treat recovered waste. Sorting can be done by the state, companies, householders, individual scavengers and the, and the waste producers. In the USA, reverse vending has been tracked. A waste skip credits a company for return of cans bottles and whatever plastic of non-ferrous metals are at, uh, at present difficult to record estimates suggested about five percent of japanese 15 percent of europe and 10 percent of usa plastics were recycled in the late 1990s even if plastics are or metals of the same general type can be recognized pieces uh worry and uh, in subtle ways and may be attached to the to other materials or have an unwanted coating or contamination that is difficult to do. Some plastic absorb chemicals reducing their value or recycling as well. Alternatively, uh, they might export waste mixture of plastic packages to to be a cheap level can sorted record materials upon bulky for a given weight making uh, transport and storage costly and maybe of low weight. Engstrom in 1992 and Fairley in 1992 they suggest recycling may not be as environmentally desirable as it first seems. Whitten and Nelson in 1993 suggested that waste paper through processing might generate more pollution than burning it for electricity generation and district heat. Steel and aluminium, aluminium recovery can be worthwhile. The latest says and 95% of the electricity used in making fresh aluminium. Paper can be recycled up to four times before the fibers are damaged too much. The time 14 June 1993. And you can recycle the paper up to four times. Now, summary of today's lecture is the sustainable development, whether in rural or urban environments, demand effective handling of outputs, waste and pollution, as well as liquid inputs, water, food, and energy. Pollution management demands the establishment of ethics as well as regulations, monitoring and enforcement. There is the enforcement of the laws and enforcement of the regulation and monitoring. There is an ongoing shift to proactive approach and adaptation of the polluter pays principle. Many pollution and waste management issues are transbound and some are global. Solution and controls demand cooperation and funding from both developed and developing countries as well. There is a move toward the polluter pays principle. In the past, polluters seldom showed, uh, shouldered the cost 
increasingly they are being made to act uh, responsibly or to do so so this is it for today's uh, next class inshallah we will learn about the environmental sustainability so thank you so much if you have any kind of questions so let me know in your portal that's so that you do that take care